another one coming up. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. Come on, Murph. I'm going to bring that to the quick. I'm going to, brother. Come on, boss. No, no, You're going to make it look like you got defeated. Okay. Okay. I want to bring it to the stage, brother. Polite. Before we even do that, hold on. Before we even do that, we in the audience. Don't press pause. I got a question. I want to ask the audience. That's what you mean. I don't want to have one back. I have no problem. Let me ask the audience. Let me ask the audience. Let me ask the audience. That's it. All right, brother Polite, step on up. Step on up. To the battleground. Come on, buddy. brother Lord Merkel. Did good. Come on up, brother Lord Merkel. I need y'all tickets. <laughs> oh, I need the tickets for this event right here. I got, I got brother Lord Merkel over Tomorrow, here. Tomorrow, jam packed, full house. We're gonna take off from what these full two house. brothers left off, dealing with nationalities, and then we're gonna move forward. Whatever else you would like to touch on, brother, you got to stay focused. Cut it out, bro. Come on, Lord Merkel. Hey, I'm on next. This is shot, Merk. This is your big shot, bro. Get in there, Merk. That's a donation right here. The adjustment barrel is here. Don't be the next solo, bro. What's your nationality? Yo, in the nature and power of the law, the master of spiritual insight and perceive of all truths are rising of all praises due to the law. And I give honor to everybody that's up here today. Peace and love. While your man here for light home, you know, talking on the side. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's up? What's, What's up? All right, then go ahead and do your thing. What do we pass me the mic? Oh, what's your, your number? What you want to talk about? <laughs> Whatever. You're always running up Whatever. on me in the street. Just, Don't act shy, now. Nah, that's a, <laughs> I just want to come out and do it. I don't want to look like a bully. Now nah, you got to bully me. What's your nationality? <laughs> come here, come here. My nationality is Andu. We just did this, right? Why what not? country are you a citizen of? First Republic of New Copy. What's your passport say? My passport says United States of America. Brother, if you're a citizen of the United States of America, why can't hear you, brother. What? Brother, if you're a citizen of the United States of America, why don't you just admit it and stop having people believe in some mystery God construct in the sky? You know what I'm saying? To bring it back down to earth, the citizens we here in America, we should be using the ordinances and the institutions gotcha. and the establishments that are Let's already go. set in place. Let's go. You know what subject citizen is? Nah, I know what citizen is. Do you know what a subject citizen is? Yo, hold on, hold on. This ain't fair. He gunned me down and asked me like four or five questions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I asked a more a question like, what's a subject citizen? Are you telling me a more doesn't know what a subject citizen is? I'm a citizen. I you can't obligated speak on to answer that. that I'm not. I can't speak on things that hold I'm not. Hold on, hold on. You can't speak on something that you're not, but I ain't asked you if you was a subject <laughs> yeah, citizen. You I asked you, me. I asked you what is a subject citizen. I don't know what a subject citizen is. Okay, there we go. So this I guess is a citizen that's subject. We gotta get him out of here. We gotta take that off and get him all over here. <laughs> okay. Cause yeah, I yeah, answered. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, sir. 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 Come on, trying to show you is this. Anybody talking about nationality that can't answer what a citizen subject is or subject citizen is, can, they shouldn't even have this conversation with that's me right now. That's a subjective statement. Now that's one. Now two, it's not subjective, it's the actuality. Because first okay. he, he, he buck dance and he said, I can't speak on something I'm not, but that wasn't the question. Mm. You know, if I ask him what is a giraffe, is he going to tell me I can't speak on that which I'm not? Because I asked him what's a giraffe? So we know, we know now we're playing the game. So he, he, he got caught out there. So now the That's next thing I got to say is, is just because we have been put in America by coercion, we have the right to resist that coercion. 
and there's a number of ways to show forth and prove our resistance. So, you can call me whatever this white man want to call me, and you can conform to whatever he says that we are. But I don't have to do that. And that's where the biggest problem comes from with a lot of you brothers. You say, what's your passport say, brother polite? So, why are you fronting here and telling me this, that, and the third? I'm not fronting. Whatever my passport says, it doesn't deny who I actually am. Y'all got to wake up with this bullshit. The white man says it, stamps it, approves it, and y'all go along with it. Y'all come up with y'all paperwork and say everyone else is bugging, but you niggas not bugging? So now nah, we ain't doing that. We have our own criteria to set up a nation. And in their own laws, a universal declaration of human rights. Okay, Article 15, clauses 1 and 2, it tells you you have the right to your nationality and you have the right to change your nationality. So now we're dealing with a fox pass in this conversation. Because the brother asked me, how does it say United States of American citizen on my passport? But at the same time, I can tell him international law stipulates that we have the right to our nationality and we have the right to change our nationality. So which one of us is right and which one of us is wrong? Thank you. May I answer? Thank you. First off, with all due respect, don't call me a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Two is called Paul. You don't want to be called black? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. So I digress and say nigga. And thank you. You know what I'm saying? So now, although what you said was true, you know, who you are is inherent. It's in your nature and you do have a right to it. What I was mainly focusing on was that the United States of America as a country is a corporate construct in which we're currently living. So it would be foolish for us to completely ignore it as opposed to actually using it for our social, economic, and political benefit. So now, I can't speak for all Moors, but I can speak for myself personally. I can say that the United States of America as a country in itself has things that we can use to our advantage. We shouldn't completely disregard it. For example, you say Endu is your nationality and that the First Republic of New Covenant is a country in which you are a citizen of. Now countries have prerequisites. I don't know if the organization that you constructed had meets the requirements to be a country, but I know that a nationality or a nation itself, one of the prerequisites to have an organized drill society or a body politic. The so-called Negro, the so-called Black, and the so-called Colored in North America, including the so-called Latino, the Spanish, the so-called Spanish, they don't have an organized Jewish society in which they have a representative capacity legally and politically. And this is why I push nationality so hard, because I want people to understand the necessity of a body politic in order to be civilized and organized people. Like, for example, Sandra Bland. You know, if she had been a member of an organized Jewish society, there would have been a legal representation there for her, she probably would have been able to get bailed out uh, quick, quickly, easily before any harm would have happened to her. Or she would have been able to say, you know what, let me make a call to somebody. I do have a representative who can speak for me the same way you would be here and say, yo, you know, yeah, the same way you would say, you know what, um, I, I don't have anything else to say to you, let me speak to a lawyer. So these are the things that I'm trying to bring to the forefront. I'm not saying now, I'm not saying that what you're doing is illegitimate, that it, you know, New Covenant or even honor the Aboriginal Republic of North America, any of these constructs where people know that a nationality is important and they're doing their part in order to effectuate that, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm personally not saying that there are things wrong with that or that their people are wrong or that they don't know what they're doing. I'm simply bringing a different perspective to the people and if they would like to exercise that, they can. If we were to go to the Constitution, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 15. We will see that the United States has no jurisdiction exceeding 10 miles square. <laughs> but we call it number nation and we call it number country. And everyone's going along with it. But second I start saying we have a nation and we have a country, we're not gonna go along with it. But we got over a hundred we got over 180 acres of land in Arizona. The United States doesn't have no jurisdiction exceeding 10 miles square. So how the fuck could they be a nation or have a country and we don't got a country? You see, I'm going to have a black man. Sorry. I'm going to have this brother <laughs> tell me that we don't meet the standard for having a nation. When the very source that we're standing on has exceeded the very jurisdiction that this so-called or purported country says that they have. That's one. Now, the next situation we have to talk about is if they have a nation. If they have a nation. <laughs> 
Yo, yo, get him some pom poms and get him a skirt. That's what we do in Harlem, you heard? Knock that off. Don't worry, don't worry. Knock that off, because we got sisters coming up and down there. Go. Go. Brother, 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 brother. That's the emotion. Brother, you got that fez on. No, bro, you got that fez on. You don't, you don't act like that. That's the emotion. We got that fez on. That's the emotion. Now, we got to keep this going. If he come with that energy, all he got to do is show that while we on camera. Now, look. You just said, I'm a girl, I need a skirt. Why is your hand wrapped around my Why is your hand wrapped around my shoulder now? Oh, that's sad. If you want to chill, let me finish this. You need to get this. My brother, hold on. This is what we want to do. No doubt. Yes, sir. This is what we want to do. bro. Yes, sir. We want to We want to keep. We want to make sure. We want to make sure that our Lord's brother. Hold on. Come on, man. So what we don't want to do, we don't want the more to deflect, we don't want the more to get distracted. So we're going to ask everybody, let's make sure we keep this more focused. We want more focus from our brother. We don't want him going for no distractions. He got that fence on his head, he's supposed to represent it good. So we're going to ask him to refrain from the nigga activity. I didn't call him a nigga. But that's nigga activity. We doing an interview right here. So don't have a dialogue with this brother, especially if it has potential to escalate if there's no respect between the two gentlemen. So represent your feds, my brother. After all, I just got a fit cap on and I know better than that. So now what we're going to do is this. But if they are nationality, one of the prerequisites for a nation is what? Land. That sounds very good. Land. What else? No. Land. You see? We, we're going to figure this out. You don't need land to be a nationality. No, okay, sir. good. To have a nationality, you don't need land. That's no, perfectly sir. well. What else y'all say? Huh? Me. People works. People works. Protection. A nation is a people. Economic and economy. Language. Maybe. Now, language. language, very important. Language. That's a land. Need language. Let's try one more thing. Protection. Protection. Culture. Oh, oh, no. Hold on. It gets deep. You need a credit line. How about that one? Oh, okay. A nation has a credit line. So now I'm going to ask you as a Moorish American, do you have a credit line? Because nations are able to borrow against something. So are you coming empty-handed? Keep it real. Because now we're going to get to the realistic point of the conversation. We're not going to allow you to act like all your shit is straight. So now what we're going to do you heard me? Because you intimated that something's not going right with us. So now what we're going to ask is, does the Moorish Americans, do they have a credit line? Since you are a nation. Please, uh, you a lot was said. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start with first of all, I'm saying, uh, not to get personal with the brother Minister Enke, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't meant to be a personal, so I don't want you to be like, you know, take that offensive enough because I, I got hyper with him. He's good, he's a grown man. But, Let's um, get to the answers. You know, I just wanted to get that out there first. No doubt. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't intimated that there's anything wrong with New Covenant or, I'm okay. or, no, or any skin. of those things. No, no, listen. Listen to what I'm saying. I was saying that the so-called Negro that at the present time is not organized, requires an organization, a legal representative and a body politic for political and legal purposes. You know what I'm saying? Um, credit line. Now, as far as that credit line is concerned, I am not of the can I, can I answer that question, Brother Man? See, you need him. Yeah, get up in there. Can I answer that question, Brother Man? Let, let him, I just want to help sink. you out. Yeah, yeah, I want you to answer it, but let him sink first. <laughs> Let him sink first. We're going to sink this shit first. Go ahead, brother. Man. Titanic. Judgment, bro. Save yourself. That's what they did. The, all the workers on the Titanic saved themselves. That's what you need to do. Get your rap and get out of here. And let's get him over here. Save the people. And I appreciate the opportunity because the brother here got Let him talk now. Go ahead. Billy just sharpened my sword. So that's, that's right. Love. So I wanted to say that I am not of the notion that a nation requires land nor a credit line. You understand? And um, that. A nation of itself requires resources, and it is resources that allow it to uh, interact with the various nations in that man and capacity. Now, I can't speak for Moorish Americans. No doubt. That brother there can. So I can let him do that. You know what I'm saying? Who but are you I'm speaking, what is, who I don't are speak you? for Moorish Americans. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm not a representative of all Moorish Americans. That's not what I'm here. When okay. I speak, and I'm out here and I'm teaching, when I'm no speaking, doubt. I'm speaking from what I've studied, from what I've uh, uh, garnished, 
and gather. And whenever I come wow. here, it's also a learning experience. All right, saying? cool. Let me get this. Hold no, on, real quick, before no, you go there. No, 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 no. This, this is this. our interview. And I believe that the now, president is no no more to you. American. So with the best. Hold on, hold on. Cause you see, we took the life hey, out of. Life. Hold on, we took the life out of what's your nationality. Hold on, hold on, let me go. We took the life out of the homie who goes around. What's your nationality? Jesus. Look how that. Look how the energy started in the beginning. Now look at his life out. Lights out. Adjustment, bro. Now he's about to pass the mic over to another brother. He got adjusted. He put in his resignation adjusted. as a more. He got adjusted. You see what I'm saying? Yo, I, I tell people this all the time. I'm a different beast. Listen. It looks easy when you're watching on camera, King. But when you get next to me, it's looking hard. I hear you, King. I hear you, King. Oh, show of hands. Oh, 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 show of hands. Big Mills. My brother said he didn't know in order to have a nationality that he needed land, right? Or credit line. Or now, credit line. You know, what I said was I'm not of the notion that that's a prerequisite. Okay, cool. He's not of the notion that it's a prerequisite. Right after that, he says we need resources. You know, that we have resources, all nations have resources, and that first resource that nations have as people is a human resource. Okay. So it is what we can produce as a people. That's not a problem. Right. So you don't consider land as a resource? That's or something not, that can re land, resources? Land, land is a resource, brother, but there are nations that don't have a land. Like, for example, there are Jews who don't believe in the occupational state of Israel and still remain stateless, although they have a nationality that is respected in various courts worldwide. What you say, brother? Uh, not quite. Come on. Not quite. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We want to see is that. Is that, is that I got a more itching on the trigger yeah, finger. Like, did that make sense? I mean, what I was just saying. I got my brother. No, can I, oh, well, uh, I'd like to, brother, I'd like to call um, Substitution. Substitution. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because if you go to the channel, it says angel in training. So don't hold him accountable for nothing that he did or said today because he's an angel in training. It doesn't mean that he specializes in this field as of yet. He didn't get his certification as of yet. He is presently in training. He get his wings. That's right. Come on, let, let's see if we get in there. I, I, oh, we I, clipped I, I, the wings. I got yes. it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Been adjusted. Nah, nah, nah. You break the pivot. All right, I got to get. I have, I have to get moving so I can make this brief. First, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Um, let's get those answers. To make a, to make make a slight correction to to, to let's what you said about about being stateless. Stateless has less to being stateless has less to do with possession of land has more to do with possession of the quality that makes you a nation. A nation is a political community. Now I want to talk to my brother. He made some powerful points, brother Polite. There's a difference between nationality and nationhood or nation. There is a difference. Having a nationality doesn't necessarily mean you're in possession of a nation. This is true. Now on the issue, I would tend to I would disagree on a number of points regarding. Possession of land being a qualification for nationality. Yeah, never but said that. Nation. Okay, that's okay, big. Good. That's big. Now, that being said, to answer the question about land and the credit line, I want to say something first about the Morris Science Symbol of America, which is not going to be popular with some members of the Morris Science Symbol of America. The Morris Science Symbol of America is not a nation. It is not a nation state. It doesn't purport to be a nation state. The Morris Science Symbol of America is an organization. There we go. Keep Just it real. like the PLO was an organization. Keep but it real. PLO represents, it is the sole representative of nationality for Palestinians. Figure that one out. What is so, your problem with black? Hold on, brother. <laughs> That's not better TV. Question. I'm gonna answer that question. Let's get it. Now, the Morris Science Temple of America is an organization with land and with a credit line. That's all I'll say. Now, back on your point, what is my problem with black? I have no problem with black. Noble Drew Ali in his teachings had no problem with black, but there's uh -oh. something that we call context, right? Okay. I mentioned it before, I'll say it again. Our brother Malcolm X said, just because you put kittens in the oven, it doesn't make them biscuits. In other words, there's a time and place. Okay, just because you put kittens in the oven, it doesn't make them biscuits. In other words, there's the, the rule or the law of context. What you say must fit context. Time. Question. Time. Hold yeah, on, now. Let that man finish. Let that man finish. How you not gonna let him finish his bill? I don't want it to go too far. It ain't to go too far. Relax. 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 
So you know I be coming with some shit, boy. Relax. <laughs> you said. Yes, sir. You said Malcolm. You quoted Malcolm. I did. Just because a kitten have. Just because you put kittens in the oven, it doesn't, doesn't make, make them biscuits. biscuits. Yeah. But you so said earlier. You know, yes. The reason why we are Morris American mm -hmm. is because we was born. Descendants of in Americans, born right, in America. Born yes. in America. Yes, sir. So does that make you an American? Because you was born in America. Uh, are you the kitten in the oven? Oh. Because I'm quite sure if my mother was pregnant mm -hmm. and take a trip over to China yes. and I was born in China, would I be Chinese? Just because I was born in China don't make me Chinese. Well, well, first of all, he brings up a number. You bring you bring up a number of issues in your statement, right? <laughs> Chinese is not a race. Chinese is a nationality. And nationality is political. Understand? So would I be Chinese? Hold on, hold on, brother. <laughs> I can't. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. I cannot. I I'm not familiar with the laws regarding national identity and status for the People's Republic of China. But I do know that a birth on their territory does weigh in merit regarding to nationality. I do know that. I don't know the specific rules. Just like every nation, just like every household has their own rules. And how my household interacts with your household is called the law of nations or international law. That being said, we don't want to confuse, like I said before, race with nationality. One of the reasons we do that all the time is because we don't know what nationality is. Okay? Now, back on the thing about black. I don't have a problem with the word black. Oh, Prophet Noble Drew Ali did not have a problem with the word black. Okay? The word in our teaching is used in a particular context. Does it describe our condition? Yes. Is it a national identifier? No. If you choose to use it as such, cool. We don't use it that way, and this is why. It's just that's it. That's it. We do not use the word black as a national identifier for a number of reasons. One of them is that it is culturally ambiguous. <laughs> I agree. It's culturally ambiguous, right? Do our people over there on the continent of Africa call themselves black? Let's be honest. Uh, that's kind of kinda technical. Yeah. You could go and that's ask them. Technical. Hold on, brother. Hold on. That's technical. How do they primarily identify themselves? Even if you call themselves, are they African? They say, no, I'm Yoruba from Nigeria. I'm Somalian. You see? You get it now? In other words, they identify themselves by national descent. They would not say they're not African, though. But African as in what? An African inhabitant because Africa is a landmass. It's not a nation. It never was. 51 countries, 51 nations on that landmass. Understand? So which one do you are you are you connected to? Which one were you connected to? That's the real question. That's the real question. You see what I'm saying? But listen, I gotta run. Brother, hold on. Brother, you, I don't want you to run. I don't want you to run. I got another question. Yo, you said Prophet Noble Drew Ali don't have a problem with black. Yes, he wants to stay with this black thing. But okay. Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, according to science, black, black means, death. means death. Yes, sir. White means purity. Purity means God. And purity means God. God and means God means the ruler of the land. Give me, give so me. Now, <laughs> hey, give me the mic. So now, give me the mic, bro. When you look at yes, <laughs> the ruler of the land right now, uh huh, is the quote unquote white man. Uh huh. See what I'm saying? It's uh -huh. not the black man. Uh huh. Correct. When you look at the diction, the dictionary, um, the definition of blackness, yes. they tell you that black is evil, black is sudden, yes. black is bad, yes. white is pure, white is good. Yes. If we are the gods of the land, right? You shouldn't we have the power to refine the words mm. or to, you know, to make the word mean what it means? Why we can't say black is? Color, culture, consciousness, and a corresponding cosmic connection. Yeah. We are the first reflection of the cosmic order of the universe, which is blackness, brother. No, sir, I would not agree with that. But anyway, here we go. Here's the answer okay, to that. Time it, here's, yeah. 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 Here's, here's, here's my answer to that question and my response to that question. Right? First, I'll use the same quote I used before. Malcolm X said, just because you put kittens in the oven, 
doesn't, doesn't make them business. business. In other words, now, and I mentioned earlier when I was talking with, the, with my, my brother um, Imam Bashir, this is just a fact, people. This is just a fact. The American Anthropological Association openly states in their report in 1995 that the color code system of race classification is an invention that they made and that it is not based in science in any shape, form, or fashion. Who said that? The American Anthropological Association. Oh, trust me, we do the lecture. I'll, I'll provide the report. I'll provide the report. That's a Google way, folks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now listen, come on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, brother. Hold on. 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 Listen. Listen. Are we intelligent people here? Yes. yes we're we intelligent, are. right? Yes, we are. That's why we don't go by their definition. Oh, now wait a minute. Is that intelligent? We brother? can't. Yes, it is. Who because the, who 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 you order those shoes from? Before uh, when we was in Africa, oh, we on. didn't have yeah, to say. Uh, <laughs> he bought those oh, shoes oh. from a black man. Okay, yeah. that's peace. But now, listen, uh, brother, brother, let me answer the question. Can I answer the question, brother? That's peace, quick. Can I answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> Can I answer the question? Brother, uh, here we go. Who bought those shoes? Listen. Let him go, y'all. Let me answer the question. Question. The American Anthropological Yo, my man, let him talk. Oh, Perry, you always filibustering and photo bombing and video bombing us. Yeah. The, the American Anthropological Association, a bunch of Europeans, probably. Listen close, people. They state that we're intelligent, right? Bear with me. The American Anthropological Association in 1995 in their report openly said that the race or the race categorization based on color is an invention of theirs that allows them to have the social, economic, political, and cultural top of the mouth. What? So now we're intelligent, right? The only way that this thing survives is that you don't understand what it is. So when you've got the very people that put it together telling you 